Hello and welcome to February. We've gone through January and I know the winter season is really starting to get exciting because of, we're moving past uh, the season, getting close to postseason and the staff is busy working with all the managers to make sure that all the postseason events, including state tournaments, goes off without a hitch and is the best memory making possibility for our students and fans. W Executive Board just finished a meeting and during that meeting they decided a number of different things. Number one, the final language that they are proposing from four different committees works dealing with classification, out of season, year-round conditioning, open gym, recruitment, and national events and the amateur rules. So look for those on the WI website because there are also other members that go along with those. The voting period will be April 29th through May the 8th and it'll be on the website as in the past. A unique opportunity this year is that the association in conjunction with the State Athletic Administrators Association will be taking the lunch during the WASA conference to give updates about the WIA and then that Tuesday afternoon we'll actually have breakout sessions talking about each one of the committee's amendments so that folks can get a good grasp have an opportunity to dialogue with athletic administrators from around the states before they vote. So we're excited and we really appreciate the work of Dave Ticker and the WASA board to make that opportunity available to all of the attendees. Board also approved allocations and those are also on the website. The Scholastic Awards winner deadlines uh, second Friday in February this year, the 13th, and I think it'll be a lucky day because of that. And then also Brian Smith and a committee of middle school folks have been dealing with their Give Me Five sportsmanship program and they're currently making sure that everyone is aware of what's going on to improve sportsmanship because we believe if we great, create that great foundation at the middle school level, that'll transcend up into the high school level. So get a hold of Brian if you have some ideas or a member of that committee as well. The pole vault certification started on January 16th. The last opportunity to be certified is on March 6th through the 8th at Seattle Academy Gym. Check out the association website uh, for more information. I know you've heard an awful lot of information about the association strategic plan, particularly the healthy culture. And I appreciate all the survey responses that we received when we asked you to gauge the healthy cultures in your buildings. And what we learned from that is that you're very proud of what you are accomplishing in your schools. And if there's any one concern that seemed to be far reaching regardless of where in the state or what size of school, it is the issue of sportsmanship. So the association will be working with that same middle level committee and developing a real strong sportsmanship program, something that we can take from here and move into all aspects of the association's work. So healthy culture, ask yourself, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to your coaches? What does it mean to your students? Is there that one school that you go to that you know you're going to have a great experience, whether it's your students or your coaches or you as an athletic administrator? And what can we do to send the message that that's the kind of culture that we want to emulate throughout the state? I appreciate all you do. I hope to see you during the state tournaments that are coming up. The staff is excited about providing those for you. Please let us know what we can do to continue to build memories for you and for your students. Take care.